special playoff edition of Oof. Piers alongside Oof. Chris Broussard. I'm Kevin Wilds in a beautiful shirt. Nick, are you excited about this week's playoff tiers? Oh, couldn't be more excited. And the committee rose to the occasion. Oh. For the playoff tiers, only 14 teams to rank. You can spend more time. Mm-hmm. No, Nobody's overlooked. I'm very proud of what the committee did last proud. night. Uh, we start with breaking news, <laughs> however. After 14 seasons and a Super Bowl in Seattle, Pete Carroll is out. A statement from Seahawks' Jody Allen says, quote, his role will evolve from head coach, sure. and he will remain an advisor with the organization. Nick, your reaction? Uh, it, rapid fire. Like, my initial reactions were one of the best ever, college pro. There's only a handful that have done it at a super high level in both. Jim Harbaugh is trying to reach right. the pinnacle in both. He came very close. Mm-hmm. Jimmy obviously did. Barry yeah, Switzer did. And Switzer doesn't necessarily give him the respect of the others because it was Jimmy's team. And then, yeah, of course, Pete fair. Carroll. Uh, my second reaction was Russ and Pete. Kind of better together than apart. Yeah, for both of them. And so, and, and then, the and then my last reaction was, don't hire Dan Quinn. Why? Because, because if you're going to move on from Pete Carroll, do it to move into a new era, not to hold on to the bastions of the Legion of Boom defensive era. And I think that's what everybody thinks they're going to do. That is not what I would do. I was not overly impressed by Dan Quinn uh, at, when his first time being a head coach with the Falcons. But even if I was, he's probably going to be a head coach somewhere. I wouldn't want him to be the head coach in Seattle. If you're Pete Carroll did not see this coming. Pete Carroll at his end of season press conference was like, yeah, I think I'm going to be back. I plan to be back. I don't think he wanted to be out. So you're doing it because you want to move on. If you want to move on, then move on. And so those are all my kind of initial rapid-fire thoughts when Mm -hmm. I first saw it. Yeah, it it was a gentle firing. That's what it is, right? Because at first they said he'll stay in the organization. I'm thinking like GM or something like that. But no, advisor, that means you're probably far away. You could be around, I guess, but you're probably far away and you're just advising. So it's a gentle way of firing a guy who has been kind of legendary. A legend, you know. Um, And so – I was stunned. They had a good season. You know, I didn't pick them to make the playoffs, but a lot of people did, and they came close. They were a good team. Yep. I, here's where I – well, I agree with you totally on the Russ thing. Like, it's, it's a shame for both of them. Yep. Right? Now, I don't, I'm not saying they would be a contender necessarily with Russ. Maybe, because obviously they were still playing good football. I know they had the one bad year when he was injured his last year there. But he was better with Pete Carroll, and Pete Carroll – Look, he obviously is a great coach in his own right and what he did at USC. Mm-hmm. But in the NFL, if my math is correct, he's 33 and 36 without Russell Wilson. Oh, man. And he's 104 and 53 with Russ. Like, Pete was a mediocre NFL coach. When you look at his records, he was a mediocre NFL coach mm-hmm. until he got Russ. And I'm not saying it was only Russ. But when he got Russ, they started making the playoffs every year. Obviously, won the Super Bowl, got there again. So, I, I think it's unfortunate, especially when Pete was going to be done like yeah. two years later. It, it, and Russ looks like he's not quite yeah, done. I mean, I was, the Russ way it's is, worked. It, just the flip side, to be fair to that, is we could also do the same thing. Here's Russell Wilson with oh, Pete no, Carroll totally, and without totally. Which is why like, I totally. do think for both of them, it did feel like you know Russ wanted it to be over and wanted to move on. But it does feel like they maybe were best off together. And and I thought Pete Carroll did a really good job last year. Actually, a great job last year with that Seahawks team that people thought was going to be a bottom five team in the league, getting yep. them to the playoffs. Yep. And they, this year, were alive to make the postseason yeah. with they two minutes like left sure in the shot. final game mm-hmm. of the year. And then I'm talking about even going into Sunday, mm-hmm. the, the final game, they just needed Green Bay to lose, and Green Bay didn't. I do like Dan Quinn there, though. Okay, that do. team, look, they've never had – only great quarterback they've ever had is Russell Wilson. All right, and they're, they've always had good running games for the most part. Sean Alexander, Marshawn Lynch. Yeah. Now they got some good running backs and defense. So, Quinn obviously I think would strengthen their defense. So, I, I kind of like Quinn in that spot. Just quickly, if you were to put an offensive coach in there, who do you want? Oh, I think that – listen, I would be – I'd certainly call Jim Harbaugh. And be like, hey, you had that fun little feud with Pete Carroll back with USC Stanford days. Do you want to replace him? Shane Waldron, I think, will get calls. Ben Johnson will get calls mm-hmm. by everybody. Like, I, I, I just wouldn't want to try to just kind of, you know, kind of do a, 
a, a reunion tour of the good old days, I would try to for, fully turn the page. Gotcha. Okay, as long as you didn't say Vrabel, I'm good. No, he's uh, not an offensive coach. Chiefs Dolphins, good point. <laughs> uh, a battle of Miami's number one scoring offense versus the ninth best offense in Kansas City. Mahomes confident that his offensive squad will get back on track. Take a listen. I'm extremely confident, um, not only in our offense, but in the football team. Uh, you see how the defense is playing. Uh, offensively, I feel like we're going to play our best football at the right time. Um, and I think if we can just score, we don't have to score too much points. If we can just score enough points, our defense will shut the door, and we can, we can find a way to get a win. Okay. What's at stake for Kansas City this postseason? Greatest five-year stretch in NFL history, and it's not arguable. They win the Super Bowl. It's the greatest five-year stretch in the history of the league. The, that right now, the five-year stretch they just completed, mm -hmm. eight Mahomes' first year as a starter through last year, is outside of the top five best, you know, in a half decades. Because the Steelers had two in the 70s kind of overlapping where they won three in five years. The Pats' first run, yep. the Cowboys in the 90s, those are the best ones. Uh, that are not the very best. The very best is the New England Patriots from 14 to 18. Won three Super Bowls, went to four, were great every single year. Here's right now this moment how the past five years for the Chiefs measure up to that five-year run by the Patriots. You'll see the regular season stuff, identical. Postseason losses, identical. You can look at it. If they win the Super Bowl, show it to us what it will look like. Well, same division title, same conference championship appearances, same Super Bowl appearance, same Super Bowl wins, better playoff win loss, better regular season win loss. And that's right now the gold standard. That's right now the best five-year run ever. So we can argue, Brew, about whether or not they're going to do it, whether it's realistic. But if they do it, it is inarguable. It's the best five-year run ever. And what starts becoming arguable is... Well, given what everyone has said about the Chiefs' offense this year and the receivers and all of this, does this right there, that moment, put Mahomes in the GOAT conversation? Our friend Colin is already, I think, soft-launching a Andy Reid GOAT coach conversation. Come on. I, I, that's, I, that's a I bad know you don't. I, I, I know you don't like it. That's an absurd. But I think Brew, I think the, you know, Brew makes that, the point I, about, you know, Andy, whether it's Donovan McNabb or Kevin Cobb or Alex Smith or Mike Vick, Mike Vick, or you get the best of all these guys. And Belichick, if there's such a thing as legacy going backwards, it certainly had its reverse, you know, sire horns on for the last couple of years. I, I'm not saying I would go there, but it will be out there. But the Chiefs having the best five-year run ever will be definitive if they can finish the deal this year. Look, I, I don't disagree with a lot of what you said. Um, I, I'm glad you, you took that positive route. All right, and that's fine. If they lose, oh. they're not even a dynasty. All right, I, I, think the, I think there's clearly, I think it's five definitive dynasties in modern NFL history, Six, going back to the 60s. They've all got at least three Super Bowl wins, and they all went back to back. And so, to me, the Chiefs have to get to three. Now, obviously, they may get there in the future, but they've got to get three wins, three Super Bowl wins, and they've got to get back to back. So if they if they don't do that, I think kind of the dynasty thing for at least right now is out the window. For Mahomes, I, I actually I will not say this, even though I think he's the best quarterback I've ever seen. I will not say he's the GOAT, but I bet you some people will start saying that. If they win, not, if you're if saying, they win if the they Super win, Bowl, they'll say with these receivers, he's got because his individual numbers are going to be better than Brady's. And he's just, individually, he's better than Brady in terms of moving it out of the pocket and things like that. So if he, if he has, I don't think he has to get to seven. I will say. He needs to get to I three. Think, he I needs think, to get to less no, than half. I'm not saying, I think some people will say that. I, I think it's got to be like five. Okay. But I think a lot of people will start to say, man, come on. He just won with this group. We, you know, he Bro. is the GOAT. And then I, I think if he loses quickly, if he yeah. loses, I think there will be those. So I'm, I'm going both extremes. Sure. There will be those that if Baltimore wins, there will be those that say Ball, Lamar Jackson is the best quarterback but in the NFL. Can I say something about that? And I will not be there either. But okay. there will be those that say that. I won't be there either, but I think that will be fair. Really? I, think that, I, don't, I don't think that's an outrageous opinion. If Lamar, who will have one league MVP, then yep. wins the Super Bowl, I, I won't believe it, but it won't register to me as, like, 
That's an untenable opinion. You, you no, understand I, what I mean? And so, like, I don't think that it would be ludicrous to say it because it's like he has the same amount of MVPs. Like the he just won the Super Bowl. May, the, and so I think it, what I think will be ludicrous is the memory holding all of last season ever existing that's happening to Patrick right now, which is people asking. Mm, how good is Mahomes without all pro receivers? Well, I don't know. He's the defending MVP and Super Bowl MVP right. without all pro receivers last year. Yeah. The, there's been a lot of commentary this year that pretended last year didn't exist, but it right. did. So I wouldn't think the Lamar thing's unfair. On the Brady thing, You agree, Wilds, though, it'll be out there. Oh, certainly it'll be out there. And yeah. I won't think it's outrageous. I think that if you win league MVP and the Super Bowl, You're and you were already considered yeah, I mean, one of the best. Brady was not viewed as the best every single I, it, year. Right. So, and so, yeah, but I, I on the Wilds, you got, you know, it seemed a little perturbed well, with Bruce talking goat stuff with Mahomes. Going and I won't direction. be. Will you be there? I don't think you'll be there either. I don't know. Maybe. Well, how many rings Michael had when he was considered the goat? The answer is three. three. Kareem at that point had six. Russell obviously had 11. Magic had five. Michael retired after a short career when we thought he was really done. It's like, yeah, he's the best we've ever seen.